50 50 is fair in the relationship now i know a lot of women gonna be against this they think the man should take over the load but i think different 40 50 60 i some years ago maybe 70 y'all fought for women's rights y'all did all that and fought for women's rights y'all got y'all rights and now y'all want to control the narrative and tell us what we should do and tell us how we should handle the uh the household and things of that nature no y'all wanted women rights y'all wanted to work y'all want to do all that y'all going 50 50 on these bills Y'all going 50-50 on this household regardless. I don't want to hear it. Can't no woman jump in no relationship with me and think it's not going to be 50-50. I'm not handling the load. It's either 90-10, it's either you, or it's going to be 50-50. We do it together. Nothing gets fairer than that. That's that's fully fair. I don't, I don't see what's the problem with that. Women want you to do everything. Pay the bill. They want you to be able to lay it down in bed. They want you to be able to fix everything. They want you to prote want you to protect the household. Do that leave any room for us to just be us and do what we want to do? No. Y'all want us to do everything. And what y'all going to do? What do y'all expect y'all supposed to be doing? Nothing. Oh, I take care of the kids, the household. I do this. Half of y'all don't clean up. Half of y'all don't cook. Majority of y'all don't clean up. Majority of y'all don't cook. Y'all don't do nothing. Y'all ain't handy. What is you bringing to the table? Well, let me guess. Born old sex. We we can get that anywhere nowadays. It's, it's, it's too easy. Access is everywhere. We, we need more than that. You got to bring way more to the table than that. You feel me? How about y'all take care of us? Staying home, doing household things, that's easy. For men like me, that's easy. Let a woman take care of me. Food going to be done. House going to be clean. Kids going to be on the schedule. In bed when you get home, I'm going to rub your feet. I'm going to eat your body alive. Everything. Life ain't fair, man. And y'all making it worse. It's hard for a man out here, man. Especially a black man. It's like, this is a, what's so wonderful about men and women is that we speak different languages, right? So <laughs> it'll come off in a way that it not, not necessarily was meant when it comes to a woman's ears. So since we speak these different languages, then it can be difficult when it's translated. So um, refreshing to, to hear the directness of, of men uh, because it makes it very simple. So and, and what I'm thinking that he was basically saying was since this is what y'all wanted, y'all wanted to have these rights, y'all wanted to be able to go out and work and do your part, then do your part. And don't try to act, act like you want a man that takes care of you because you don't. Do you just want a man that will allow you to just use your money and then he has to take care of you too? But no, that's not fair. So no, what we're going to do is 50-50. That's it. And if we do not do 50-50 and you do want me to take care of you, then I then take care of me. You know, because I would take care of you in every way. That's easy. I, I totally switch roles with you. And it's funny because I feel like when I... um stayed at home and I was having I was having it was so hard y'all when I first started staying at home and taking care of the kids just taking that care of the house and this being my job it was so difficult I didn't know how to do it because I just wasn't taught we're not taught to be wives and be mothers at the house it seemed like it's a ridiculous amount of work which it is but there's a way about it that you know we're just not we're not trained in a way you know we look down on stuff like that but when they used to train their daughters to be uh, wives and mothers um it might have been unbalanced because they weren't able to actually go to school like they didn't want to do that they didn't have an option to just do something else but since most of us do have that life plus something else because that's what we innately desire then um somebody got to teach us how to do it <laughs> you know like what in the world so it's a lot it's definitely a lot um and maybe um like i say all the time men have an instinctual uh intuition maybe they instinctively kind of understand it's a lot of work but i could figure out how to get it done whereas we kind of have to be taught that we have a different type of in intuition, emotional, spiritual one. So, you know, just learning from one another can help. But at this point, we don't listen, you know. So it's 50-50 the ideal. Well, not really, but it is because either way you spend a marriage is going to be 50-50. So if somebody's at the house, who, regardless of who it is, if they're at the house and someone is doing all the outside work, um, outside of the home, then that's 50, 50. Or if they're, if you're both working and you're both doing the home, you know, at the same time, that's 50, 50. However that looks either way, there will be some type of balance as long as y'all are healthy. And when it gets outside of the healthy space, then there will be no balance and you got to work on it. But for some reason, we're just deathly afraid of there being an unbalance in our relationships for whatever reason that is, because most I, I don't even understand this issue with if you're working if the woman is staying at home and the husband is working outside the home and they're like or even if the if the both are working outside the home and then the woman is like 
uh, I, when you come home, you can't just sit down and not take care of this. I can't have two jobs. You know, I don't know many people in their thirties and forties and people that's really caring the young married, you know, maybe late twenties. I got married when I was 24. So, but most people, you know, that's kind of early. So late twenties, thirties, forties, I don't know many men in many situations where someone's husband is coming home and just popping a beer and just chilling on the couch. These men help. I, I don't know of a situation. It seems as if majority, the majority, now it might be a few, there's always exceptions. The majority, like they help. They do what, now they might not do it how you want. <laughs> and that just goes down to preference and us women being very particular about things. And then us getting upset because it's not doing, things aren't going the way that we want them to. That's a whole nother thing. But just the whole general idea of that, now nah, I'm going to sit here and you're going you gonna to go to work. And you're going to take care of this house and you better shut up. What, who Who's doing this? <laughs> what men are doing this? I just, no, not in the general sense. It's not, it's not happening. You know, and of course, man, you know, if your wife is working outside the home, yeah, you're going to have to pitch in. Yeah, it's going to be some more stuff that you got to like, okay, let's, let me figure this out because um, it's just balance, you know, and you don't want to have one that's burnt out or feeling unloved. And that just the way that the woman controls the the atmosphere of the home you want to make sure that you're helping her with that space you know uh now that i uh, work at the house you know i'm um a housewife and do other things i do take care of that and i i am blessed i am i'm gifted by my husband with the ability to maneuver my life the way i want to to figure out okay i can do this here this here this here this day maybe i can take a quick nap because i had a long day yesterday just having the freedom to create my own life my own space even though i have lots to do yes but i'm able to have that freedom and that's a gift that's a leisure <laughs> i did a video on uh, how housewife is not is not a reward but it, yeah yeah there's so much reward in it. And there's so many things that you have perks that most women just don't. So just in that whole 50-50 argument, that whole 50-50 argument, what is it that we're really arguing against? Do we feel like our men want to hurt us or take advantage of us? And if so, why? Why do we feel this way? Why are we so obsessed with this, they're going to take advantage of us type thing? Is it true or is it a fear? Are we projecting? what's going on with us you know and to take that into consideration let me know what you guys think about this topic in the comments and um don't forget to like and subscribe but also don't forget to share this video with someone who, who enjoy it and benefit from it and um i will talk to you guys later i'll see you next time